Hi everybody, Pat Healy here again, creator of the Employee Attraction and Retention System for Small Business Owners. Okay, I just got back to my office after spending a day facilitating the Team Success Academy for a group of small business owners and their teams. And what I wanted to do is share with you a thinker size. I usually put teams like this through in order to help both the business owners and their employees begin to find their similarities and their differences and really a fun type of environment. So the way the exercise begins is I take the business owners, in this case there were three accounting firms, and so I take the owners of the accounting firms and put them at their own flip chart, and then I have the teams from the three firms uh, commingle, and uh, so that there's no single office that's going to be writing on this. It makes it a lot more fun too, and people are a lot more open to write down exactly how they feel. So I end up with four flipboards in the room, and then I have them go over and draw this chart, and at the top of the chart, in the middle, I have them write the words, Dream Day. And I tell them this, okay, you've got three minutes to write down exactly what your Dream Day would look like at work. And they go, what are you talking about? Okay, just write down, think of any adjective you can think of about which would explain your day. And so here's the results that we got from the meeting today. So here's what they put down as their Dream Day. They're busy, uh, no complaints, reaching their goals. They have all the answers, solve all the problems, fully staffed, happy boss. This is the one I particularly like. Uh, all activities done by five and good client feedback. So these were team members. And what is amazing about this when you look at what the bosses write, the bosses have almost identical goals. You know, most small business people, we have so many things that we're trying to do all at once from managing our teams to trying to reach our business goals to uh, you know, improving our bottom line that a lot of times we're thinking that, that, we're, that our team members really aren't on board with us. But you know, for hundreds of these workshops that I've done, it would be the rare situation that our employees or team members do not see our businesses exactly like we do. So anyway, once they complete this column, three minutes, I have them move over to this column. And I say, what I'd like to have you do is write down the word is, is day. What is your day actually like? And this is really fun because it's, people get kicks out of it even though it seems negative. It turns out not to be negative. And uh, we work on this through the workshop. But basically, what we had today? Lack of trust, stress, interrupted, interruptions, excuse me, hectic, emails, too little time, rapid fire, no task fulfilled, this is a good one, hell, <laughs> uh, drama and laughter, that's good, not enough, or not everybody there, and high expectations. Now again, everybody realizes that, that um, nothing in life is perfect, and these negatives usually outplay the positives probably 10 to 12 to 1. And uh, we cover that in the workshop. Basically, it's what, are, what people are focusing on because they're actually looking at their dream day versus what it's like. And for most people, there is a lot of stress at work, but we're going to work on that during the daytime. So then once they've done that, there are three minutes there, we go over to this next column, and that one is titled Dream Thieves. Write the word Dream Thieves up here, and I ask them to write down all the things uh, that go on that prevent them from having their perfect dream day. And it takes them a little time to get going on this, but once they start writing, they get it. So here's what we've got. Attitudes, organization, interruptions, employee shortage, lack of security, leadership, no room to advance, lack of appreciation, and ourselves. I thought that was really insightful. Dream thieves, ourselves. And lack of security, they really weren't talking about security guards or who's at the door. They're talking about, you know, where's my, what am I going to be doing five years from now if I stay with your company? So I think, the, I think this would be fun to share this with you, but the big takeaway for everybody is, number one, we're all on the same page here as far as our dream day. But when we come to Dream Thieves, and it comes right down to it, and I talked with the business owners about this uh, after the meeting, meeting with the team members, is a lot of leadership issues here. And face it, like I mentioned earlier, business owners, we've got a lot of things going on every day. And even though we think we're good leaders, a lot of times we really don't take the time. Like um, 
I mean, and that's what this is all about here. So you've got a couple of options. Either you can change your own behavior, but some of us just aren't wired to do it very well. Or what we suggest is to find someone on your team who can see your vision and understand your vision and be able to relate that even more effectively with, effectively with the team members, but also have someone that we're going to give authority, excuse me, we're going to give responsibility and the authority to help help us make some of these changes in our office are going to make this side even better. So at any rate, I thought you would enjoy this. It, uh, it's very meaningful to every uh, owner that I've ever spoken to and team members come through afterwards to tell me, gosh, I'm just glad you were able to do this because with someone like myself that's a facilitator, they feel safe in writing these things down. So at any rate, remember our theme, be a better boss, build a better business, and for goodness sakes, live a better life. Now, if you like this presentation, don't forget to check the like box below. I love to hear what uh, you folks have to say about it. Thanks, and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video.